Yes, I can see ya. Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough of how to connect your Xbox 360 to your Mac to get all the files from your Mac onto your Xbox 360. And in a case, you need a PC to do this, but I found out a way that you don't need to. The app that you're going to want to go ahead and download is just called Connect 360. It costs 20 bucks, you just keep downloading the free version over and over. So go ahead and download that in your internet browser. And then once you've done it, and you've got your Ethernet connected from your computer, from your Xbox to your iMac with the Xbox turned on, and go ahead, open your downloads. Once it's downloaded, just hit click, and it's a pref pane. So just keep hitting OK and open your pref pane. Now here you can see your files being shared to the Xbox 360. So now it's shut down the connection. I'm going to start up the connection again. The thing about this is this like, app it wants you to use wireless but you don't have to when you're using an ethernet the way to find out if you are connected go ahead open your system first and go network and go either yeah and go ethernet or have a self-assigned ip after you've done the thing even if it just says doesn't know the ip it's still connected which is what you want so once you've checked everything yeah, just you have here, you hit, if it's saying your media files are being shared with your Xbox 360, then that's it. Then all your movies, photos and songs are on your Xbox 360. The great thing about this is, I did this for free when I watched so many videos on YouTube of people trying to just say you have to pay 40 bucks for a wireless adapter and then 20 bucks for this app, when that's not how, what you have to do. So anyway... Thanks for watching guys, I will hopefully give, I just got the new 3rd gen iPod Touch and I'm hoping to use that in the near future and make some videos, it's already jailbroken and I can give you some tips on that. So if anybody wants to comment on a good thing to be able to record your iPod screen then that would be awesome. Thanks guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.